Hello, everyone, and happy Thursday, and welcome to a very exciting, very thrilling bins haul. So I went to the bins this week. I went both on Monday and on Wednesday. That's kind of been my rhythm and my pattern, basically as of like Ryan's whole school year. Sometimes I've been skipping like one of the days. If I have a really good day on one, then I skip the other. This week I did go twice. So I actually will have two bins hauls out of this double bins wham of a week that we have here because I did quite good on both. I just, I haven't had super good weeks lately, I feel like. So having a decent week this week, I was willing to kind of load up and to go twice and stock up. I actually today have every single like category. Oh no, I don't have shoes. Never mind. <laughs> I have stuff. I have bags. I have actually like an electronic. I have sunglasses. I have like bras, pants. I have everything. If you notice that my nose is red or if I forget to edit out a sniffle or something in this video. No, it's not allergies. No, I'm not sick. Ryan and I woke up and it was super freaking cold. And I was like, what is the deal? Like, it's usually cold in the morning. If like your leg slips out from under the comforter, it's like cold. <laughs> it was abnormally cold. And even Ryan was saying so, which is not like, a common occurrence from him. He's usually a warm person. And our thermostat batteries had apparently died and it was 50 degrees in here, which is great outdoors, but inside 50 degrees was freaking freezing. So <laughs> the house is still heating. I'm still cold. I think we just hit 61 degrees right as I started to film when I checked. So yeah, it's a bit cold and I might sniffle and I'm cold. I got a bunch of stuff. And as I did just say, I do have some sunglasses. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't hit the X. Don't exit. Don't click off. This is not going to be like the whole sunglass situation that we had like two months ago. I only got like an eight pair and I'm not going to try them all on. I'm not going to do this huge, like boring sunglass walkthrough. But for some reason, the things in miscellaneous bins did have a bunch of sunglasses again. I don't know why. It's so weird. It just randomly, they'll send out like tons of sunglasses. I looked just as hard, but yeah, I only scored like eight this time and they are really good. So I'm quite excited. And there's no prescriptions in any of them, which I'm super pumped about. But I hope you guys enjoyed the bolo. If you missed it, there was a men's bolo that went up on Tuesday and it was a more fast paced bolo with, I feel like more useful info than our past bolos. So if you got a little burnt out by bolos in the past, this one's kind of like a more fresh take. So give her a shot if you might want to and like I said it is men's there were 15 brands this time and Valentine's if you missed it because I don't know if there's notifications that get sent out but we had bonus bolos go up yesterday on Wednesday and that should just be like right on the channel for you guys or right on the feed for you guys go leave your usernames to be a Valentine VIP as well but let's jump into the hall let's get the sunglasses out of the way right away so we can move on from those but yeah there's not that many I have them in here and we're just gonna power through them. So first up is actually a case. I didn't find the sunglasses for this, but it is obviously a Lily Pulitzer case. It has giraffes on it, and I think it's super cute, and I guess I'll just like hold on to this. I don't think like a Lily Pulitzer case is worth selling on its own, but if I have a different brand, I don't mind sending it in an off-brand case. I think I found a couple of these last time, like this exact model. This is a pair of Ray-Bans, as you can see right there on the side. Ray-Bans sell super well, so I love picking them up. These have a couple scuffs and scratches to them as like all of these have that I've found. They're the RB2132. Last time I sold both of my pair, if that is the same, and I think it is. Then we have a pair of these like motorcycle rider kind of sunglasses. They look like the brand Viper, if you know the brand Viper, but they are not. But they are another more expensive brand, and these are called Smith. So when I looked up this brand, it seemed like they do go for quite a bit. So that is great. This looks like it's called the Chroma Pop. I don't know much about like actual like sportswear sunglasses, but these seem nice. They have a couple spots, but they just would wipe off. There's not really too much scratching to these ones, which is really nice. Then I found a Kate Spade case and it was really nice because the Kate Spades are actually in here. So this, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> the lens just popped out. Okay, hopefully I can just pop that back in. This lens did not pop out at any other point. I just showed Ryan these sunglasses yesterday and they were fine. Okay, there we go. Hmm. 
or not. I don't know. That's really odd that they were out. These are the Kate Spade Geneva sunglasses and they're just like regular aviators with a nice spade on the side there. Very classic. This seems like a style that'll sell really well. And actually this person got them from Nordstrom. There's a sticker in there right there. These have like no scratches. These are in super good shape. They were hardly worn. This pair should do super well. I love finding sunglasses. Like they don't cost anything at the bins, basically. Then we found a case that had no sunglasses in it, but that's okay. And this one I actually will sell on its own. And this is a Tom Ford case. A lot of people swear by Tom Ford sunglasses. Ryan actually swears by a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. His case is like velvet. Evan, my brother, has actually found a case of his before and sold it. I will sell this on its own because people that have Tom Ford want to protect them in a Tom Ford sunglass case. Up next, we have another pair of Ray-Bans. And once again, we have a very just like classic good style. I think that's what I like more about these sunglasses finds versus the last ones is these are all very good, solid, like classic styles. So the Ray-Ban logo is right there at the front, not on the side because it's way too thin. These, oh my gosh, there's no way I can read these, but I think these are just called like the classic aviator is what Ray-Ban names those, I believe. Let's power through. We got like three more. This is a new brand to me. This brand of sunglasses is called Diff, as you can see right there, but it also says Diff on the side. These seem to be a quite valuable brand of sunglasses, and they're kind of just like a dark tortoise color. Again, very classic, nice style. I actually found a pair of Key this time, and if you are wondering what Key is, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that pronounce it Quay or something. I used to think it was Quay, and I have finally found out that it's pronounced Key. So these are very popular. A lot of people love Key. As you can see, there are some scratches on these ones, but with how popular Keys are, I'm not too nervous about those. These I think are my favorite pair, and these are once again a pair of Ray-Bans. I love this like gold bar. I also love a more boxy sunglass, which these are. It's gold on the side as well and says Ray-Bans. These are just so nice. I love that like continuous metal gold bar. These are the V-War, V-W-A-R-1004. These ones are made in the U.S. Most Ray-Bans, I think including these Aviator ones, are made in Italy. Last pair came in its case, and as you can tell by the case, these are a pair of Oakley sunglasses. They come with the wipe and a little like bag as well. Again, a very like sportsman type pair. These ones were very like Balenciaga or very like, I feel like kind of Prada does stuff like this now. <laughs> like very Y2K kind of like rounded sunglasses. So I'm sure these will do well. It looks like they're called, oh no, that just says polarized. The Oakley Dart is what these are called. Very nice, very Y2K, and Oakley sunglasses are much more expensive than I ever knew they were. I honestly thought Oakley was like not an expensive brand at all, but the sunglasses at least are quite expensive. So yeah, that is the sunglasses I found this time. I'm actually more excited to list this set than the last set just because there were so many last time and a lot of them were eyeglasses, which there weren't as much of this time. Let's move on to the stuff and the bags and the bras. First up is my electronic, and this is actually a vintage Polaroid camera. So luckily at the bins, our bins, um, electronics are a flat fee of, it might be up to like $2 or $2.50. Totally worth it for this. And I can hear it like heating up or buzzing or whatever, so it does work. But this is a classic like 80s or 90s Polaroid camera. Oh my gosh, it sounds like it's about to like explode. <laughs> These things have always done well and they still do well. People love a good vintage classic Polaroid. These go for like, at the lowest, I think like $60, but they go up to almost like $100. So I gotta do more research as to like the exact model that this is or whatever, but it is a film one and that will do really well. Then we actually have a belt. So this is a brandless belt, but it is so freaking cute. It is totally real leather and it is embroidered with this beautiful like cobalt or lapis azuli, beautiful embroidery. <laughs> it is kind of a crackled leather, as you can see there. I think this is such a pretty belt. 
It's in really, really good shape too. I haven't measured it yet, but it is quite long. But of course belts fit like an array of sizes. It almost looks like it had a tag of some kind before that is unfortunately removed and it has like no words or letters left at all. So I don't know who made this. When I reverse image searched it, someone on Etsy had it listed just as like vintage. So I don't exactly know where it's from. I got a book for Ryan and I to have on our bookcase. It's a Minnesota cities to the shore, like little picture book, photography book. So pretty. Look how pretty our state is. Gorgeous. Look at the back. Oh, so adorable. Then we have a couple bags. This bag is going to be going to the real real, but I still thought I would show you guys. This is a Toomey briefcase. And for some reason, I think someone had thrown this back, which is really weird. I usually would understand people throwing back the Toomeys because usually they're in awful condition. But honestly, this is probably the best condition Toomey bag I've ever found at our bins. When oh, there's a pen, I wonder if it's a Toomey pen. No, it's a financial group pen and it is really scratched. So I'm gonna send this to the real real. It, I think, I think I got a flat rate for this. I think this is considered like luggage and I probably was charged like $3. So I might not make a ton, but it's worth saving it. Then we have a bag that I think I might actually consign. And honestly, normally I would even skip this brand and this style, but this thing is like new condition. This is actually a J. Crew bag, and you might be like, oh, Jack, but you like to sell J. Crew. Like, why wouldn't you just sell this? I mean, I know I could. Oh my gosh, it's new with tags as I'm like convincing myself to sell it now. <laughs> I know that like I could sell this, but J. Crew bags honestly don't do that well. This is from 2014, so it's older as well. And it'll probably be marked up quite a lot at the consignment store, especially with how good a shape this is in. Oh, it's like literally brand new. I mean, it did have the tag, so it is brand new. So I'm gonna consign this. Unless like, I'm not gonna be consigning it within the next week. So if one of you sees this and you do want this for like 35, I could do like 35, $5 shipping. If anybody wanted this, <laughs> like, I guess if someone wants it. Cause I think the consignment store would list it probably at like, probably on honestly almost like 70 and I get like, I think half. Yeah, if someone wants it for like 35 and $5 shipping, let me know. It is really nice. Next up, more bags. I actually have had some like bag luck lately. Which I know that I mentioned that I went to the bins twice this week. Today we're covering the Monday stuff. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, this is all the Monday stuff. Next week we'll be covering the stuff that I got on Wednesday. So this is a Marc Jacobs bag. This is kind of an interesting style. It's a crossbody and it's like a double pouch bag with this like chain detail. The chain has no purpose except like decor. But it is Mark by Mark Jacobs, as you can see on this plaque. I don't know. I don't know much about Mark Jacobs bags. Here's the flap with the logo on the inside. It's nice. It's in really good shape. Again, Mark Jacobs is one where I feel like when I do find it, it's an awful shape. So I was willing to pick this up with how good a condition it is. And I will be selling that one myself. Oh no, I just saw. Look at that, the strap is cut and the person tied it. Okay, so I will still sell this. I just won't sell for as much. Why would that happen? How would that happen? Why would we do that? Last bag that I have is another kind of like stone gray bag. I feel like that's everything that I have bag wise today. This is a tote and it is a Dooney and Burke tote. It's really, really nice leather. It needs to be leather conditioned. It seems a little like dusty and just like lifeless. We need to put some life back into her. The corners have some rub wear, but that's something that will definitely improve with me leather conditioning it. And then I don't know what I was, I was gonna say something about the back, but like, there's nothing to say about the back. It needs to be stuffed so that it can kind of like uncrease, but it's got the classic like canvas Dooney lining. I think that the like pink lining with the like gray exterior is really pretty. Handles are in super good shape. I do really like to sell Dooney. So that is a brand of bags that I do pick up when I see it at the bins for sure. All right, we got three bras and then we'll just move on to the clothing. And I think I have it sorted that we'll start with the pants. First up for bras is a sports bra. And this is kind of like a peach orange sports bra. This is actually an Athleta 
sports bra and it is a newer one so that's why i'm gonna sell it usually i don't really like to sell athleta bras or swim or anything like that but this is from 2022 so that is why i'm gonna sell it it's a 34 double d i don't know like the name or style of this yet i don't have i don't have most of this listed yet so because ryan still if you watch the bolo i told you guys how ryan had like emptied three ikea bags worth of stuff just like all over our posh room he did get that cleaned up last night that's why i'm back in here but he was listing which again i'm not mad about but i just was like okay i can't do any work this week i guess so next up we have a torrid bra and this is a really pretty like wine burgundy purple colored lace floral bra the back is kind of like a soft almost like athletic material and the front is the lace it is padded i believe and it just says torrid curve there. This is a size 46 triple D or a 46 E, I think that is. It's from 2022 as well. And honestly, I don't really like to sell torrid that much. It just doesn't do that well. But torrid intimates and torrid like bras do do pretty good for me. Speaking of, we got this one. And does this or does this not remind you of Lisa Frank? That's like all I can think of when I see this thing. So this is like a neon kind of like leopard print. This one's really, really nice. This one's definitely padded. I do know that. This is like a, I think this one's a like push up. The other one I might just be kind of like something else. <laughs> so this one's also a 46 triple D. So I assume someone maybe would like possibly bundle them. I do have these listed. There's like a couple of things I've listed for some reason. This is from 2022 Z. So apparently I missed the like, I missed the notification, but we had like some kind of extension to 2022 <laughs> that, that I didn't live through, I guess. But it's from March 2022 Z. <laughs> it's like 2022 2.0. Hmm. I don't know what that means. All right, let's move on to pants. So we don't have too much pants. Most of what I found is like tops, sweaters, and that type of stuff. But shockingly, in my pants, I have two kids things. And these are so cute. Let's start with this one. This is a little corduroy skirt with little dogs all over it. Look at how freaking cute. I don't exactly know. It's some kind of um, hound. Like a, like a, I don't know. It's I think it's like a hunting dog. But this is a Ralph Lauren girl's skirt. This is a size five i love this color it's so good for spring and the dogs are just so cute also the embroidery is like really really good as well i just think this is so adorable so i need to get that posted there's like a couple really light marks as you can see i did wash this and they unfortunately didn't come out for me i'm sure i didn't spot treat every single one so maybe the spots would come out this is another ralph lauren piece and this is actually new with tags and this is a size 12 month boys this is again so freaking cute it is a little polo bear swim trunk all the polo bears are doing little summer activities one is sailing one is boating one is like by a palm tree one is having oh my gosh one's having like Probably not a beer, because this is a kid's <laughs> pair of swim pants, but maybe he's having like a lemonade. So adorable. And of course, so good for spring as well. Okay, on to some adult swimwear. This is men's, and this is a new brand to me. And it's not one that I talked about in the men's bolo. I wish I could find one of those men's... Actually, I think all the men's swim, there was like two or three brands. I think that was in the Valentine's video. I wish I found those brands. But this is a brand called Frank's. And at first when I found this, it's a size large. I was like, okay, Frankie's Bikinis is a thing. This is probably just one of those brands that like is actually really cheap and they try to name themselves something close to an expensive brand. So people kind of get it mixed up and like order this instead. But Frank's actually looks pretty expensive. It has nothing to do with Frankie's Bikinis. These are some Flamingo men's swim trunks and it says Frank's right there. I need to wash these. It looks like he like sat on the sand. So there's like a light discoloration kind of like right at the seat. Otherwise they're super clean. Like the inside's really clean and all that. That's great. All right, done with swim. Let's move on to some other like spring type pieces as in I think I have one spring piece. This is a pair of American Eagle shorts. 
They're really cute because they have this floral patch where like the logo would be at the back. I have been having pretty good luck with shorts lately. I think people are getting in the spring mood and mode, but I still don't think that's gonna kick off more until March, which we're really close. We're one day away. Also, happy leap day. Is that what they call it? Happy extra day. This is the curvy mom short and these are a size eight and they are from 2022. So I thought these were really cute and those should do super well. This is kind of a spring pant. So this is a brand called Jewels. I don't know if everyone knows what that is, but I think it's kind of like a UK based brand. It's kind of like, it's in the family of like Bowden, Jay McLaughlin, Draper James. I kind of feel like it's not the most expensive, but I still like to pick it up if it's at the bins. This is a size US 12. So it is a really good size too. And these are some chambray kind of like linen, just nice beachy spring summer pants. They're kind of like a jogger, but not super gathered at the ankle. Drawstring, big pockets. Yeah, really nice for like the outdoors in the spring. They're lightweight and flowy and such. Then we have a pair of leggings and these are a brand that I of course love and I don't think anyone else does, Zaya. These are a pair of Zaya size 12 leggings and they're a blue tie dye. Unfortunately, these are like a capri cropped length, which does not do as good for me as full length leggings. But with Zaya, the leggings are the only thing that I really like. So when I say I love Zaya, I'm only talking leggings. The like Sherpas, the jackets, the tanks, all that stuff does not do good for me. So if you're gonna buy Zaya, stick to the leggings. Let's do another pair of athletic pants. These are men's and these are Lululemon men's pants. I wanted to keep these, but I do have a lot of pants, so I'm not going to. These are a jogger and they have this like reflective line and zip ankle detail to them. These are, I don't know, I think they're a size medium possibly. Yeah, they're a size medium. They're a newer style because they have a style number. Otherwise, I mean, there's not much to say. Like most men's Lulu pants, they're just black joggers in a nice Lululemon material. That's the deal with these. I tried them on, they do fit. I just... I don't need them, so I'm gonna sell them. Then we have quite a change up in the style of pants. We have some sweatpants, and these are some Ouija board sweatpants. I'm gonna use my pearl wool on these. They look really good and really like dark black on this video, probably because I'm in white and the wall is white. I feel like they could use a refreshing. So I'm gonna use my pearl wool to like rejuvenate the black to them. And these are a brand called Black Craft. They're a size medium. Black Craft is a decently expensive, like spooky, witchy, like clothes clothing brand. Their stuff goes for like a decent amount. It's better than Dolls Kill price wise. Uh, not probably as good as Kill Star. Maybe just a little, little less than Kill Star, but it still does really good. I've had it a couple times. And of course I have a couple shirts by them as well. Then we found two of the exact same pair of pants, but in different colors. These are Anthropology. And they're Pilcrow by Anthro. These are a size 28. And these are some button fly corduroy pants. They're kind of like a slate, right? Is that what this is called? Like slate blue, where it's kind of like drab, not drab, like dull or muted, almost gray. And these are kind of some skinny pants. I'm not a huge fan of this style just because it's skinny, but they are newer based on the label. So I will pro I will list these for a little bit, but I might end up consigning them in not that long. <laughs> this is another pair. Oh, I didn't even realize this is like a different label, but it's the same pants. Pilcro, high rise skinny, size 28, corduroy. These ones are just like red. Again, oh no, this is a zip fly. I literally thought these were the exact same pair, but I was mistaken. These are newer too though, because they say Pilcro by Anthro. They maybe are just like the slightly older model, but it is the same pant. I have the same feelings about this pair, so they might be consigned sometime soon. Okay, this is taking me longer <laughs> than I expected. I thought that I'd be at like 15 minutes when we got done with the pants, but I'm not, so I'm going too slow. Let's move on to the tops, jackets, shirts, sweaters, and all that stuff. This is a vintage piece, and I think this is my only vintage piece today. I love this. It's called Karen Miller. Doesn't really matter because it's vintage. Size eight. This is so 
Area New York. If you don't know the brand Area, it's this new, really expensive, really expensive luxury brand that makes all these pieces, most of them being like black or white, but they have all kinds of like encrusted crystals. Their whole signature is like embellishments and crystals. And that's exactly what this looks like to me. So that's why I had to get this. I am so not into vintage really much anymore, but that one, too cute, too close to area. Then we have a free people piece and this is free people size medium and the logo is kind of falling off. I think that happened when I was washing it for some reason. Hopefully I can figure out how this goes. <laughs> it needs to be tied. It goes something like this. This is not the style of a free people piece that I would usually sell, but when I looked at the inside label, this is like the much newer Free People label. So if this is a newer piece, I'm gonna try listing it. If it hadn't been, I totally would not. So we'll see. It probably has a really cute model picture and it's not like it's gonna be hard to list or take up much room. So we'll try it out. Then we have an anthro piece. And this is just like a classic anthro waffle knit thermal. It has a fuzz on the front, oops. This is a size medium. It's just by anthro. So it's a newer piece, really cute. And a lot of people will kind of swear by the anthro and free people thermals. So I'll take it. Another free people, this one is so so, so cute. This is a free people size medium once again. And this is an embroidered, multicolor, really soft, like wide sleeve that's kind of like ribbed top. This is so freaking cute. I love this thing and the colors. This is just, it's so spring and just so pretty. Like I am obsessed with that one. Then I also love this as well. This is a Torrid piece once again. This is a Torrid size three and it is sleepwear. It's a pajama top. It's a tank top. I think it's kind of like a tunic. It's pretty long and it is Christmas light bulb skulls. So you could wear this like throughout the entire holiday season or if you're a goth, just wear it all the time. Or if you're like me, this is perfect for any time. But they're Christmas bulbs that are skulls. Like, I just, I love that. I love that there's like stars around them. So freaking cute. That is a tour piece that there is no way I would skip. Like, I <laughs> love that so much. Then, okay, just kidding, I lied. I have one more vintage piece. It's three state, size small. Just a really nice, really good condition leather jacket. Not much to say about it. I think it's lamb leather because it's really soft. You find a lot of like really, really large leather jackets. So when I find one that's like small or in really good shape, I do like to pick it up. Then we have another free people piece and this is a free people dress. And somehow I don't think I have this right, but it is kind of this like gauzy material tan dress with these tassels and stuff throughout. It's got this lace, really nice detail through the body. And then it's kind of like flared and tiered at the bottom. Really nice. There's no size, but it still has the label in it. I'd say this is probably like, probably like a medium, honestly. Especially because the other Free People pieces I found were medium too. It possibly could be the same person. Then I have another, uh, then I have another Torrid, which <laughs> I know I just said I don't pick up Torrid much, but I found some cute Torrid. So this is Torrid size three, four. So it's a three X and a four X that it would fit. Really, really pretty swim cover kimono. I just felt that this was too seasonal to skip. It's also from 2022. Also, it has like a Johnny was almost like Free People kind of look with the embroidered flowers throughout the white parts. I don't know. I think that'll do at least okay. And I, yeah, I think I'll have some okay luck with that. So that's why I picked that up. Then we have a totally opposite season, a more fall piece. This is Zara and it's a slightly older Zara because it's Zara basic. This is a size extra small, but it is very oversized for an extra small. It could fit like a medium probably. It's a long blazer coat. So it looks like a blazer, but it's definitely not like the normal fit of a blazer because it goes probably down to like your mid thigh. So cute. Of course, I love this. Oh, it just makes me think of fall. But I also, the only reason I don't want to think of fall is because like I'm ready for spring and summer. Like... <laughs> 
Come on now. Next up, we have a brand that I've never found before, but this is a really expensive brand. It's called Alex Mill. I believe they make men's and women's, but this is a men's piece. This is a size medium, and it's just a classic polo, and it's not a brand that makes anything too crazy or wild, but it is really expensive, and I've never had it before, but I've definitely heard of it. I really like this color. Kind of a purple, but... It's almost grayish. And this material is really, really nice too. It feels like a really, really nice cotton. This will be my first time trying it and we'll see how she does. This I'm just gonna try for like a hot minute or else this is another one I'll just consign, but it's Texture and Thread by Madewell. It's a size large. I don't have the most luck with Texture and Thread, but this is really cute. It's like wine color with these puff lace sleeves. It's a really nice kind of like textured material that would be really comfortable. I don't know, it's probably from a recent year. I'll give it a shot. It's another one that I'll like list for a little and then if it's not doing well, <laughs> out the door she goes. All right, another torrid piece. This is a torrid size 3X. So hopefully someone can like bundle this torrid stuff because it is all like the same size. It's all just from like 2022 or later and it's, really pretty so this is a super cute like puff sleeve textured blouse with almost like a abstract butterfly wing print to it kind of like <laughs> it's really cute so i i really wanted to pick it up and so i did <laughs> it it weighs like nothing so hopefully it does okay then we have a jay mclaughlin which this brand does not do that good for me but i picked it up based on style and because it's actually new with tags so this retailed for 200 dollars originally it's a size 10 and it's a linen blue blazer like a really lightweight this would be well no if you wore this with the jewels pants it might be like a little much <laughs> Like, this would be good with some, like, white jeans, I feel like. But it's really nice. I mean, obviously, I was going to pick this up at least to consign. I feel like I haven't tried Jay McLaughlin very much, so we'll give it a shot. All right, now we have a couple free peoples, and these are so cute. First up is this striped one, and this one is a free people size small. This is like a textured, almost like terry cloth, blue sweater. It's very boxy and wide, and it might be kind of like a hit at the hip crop length, but I love these colors. I feel like these colors make it work for any season because the colors are very like sailing and nautical. Being a sweater, of course, you could wear this in the fall too. So this would work anytime. And I think it's really pretty. I also just like this material. It's like a blanket, it's very soft. Then we have a much more like fall sweater from Free People. It's a Free People size medium once again. Really, really good, cute style. I think this is the new style or the new version of that sweater that Ryan loves, which I cannot think of the name of right now, but it's this like brown, very like coffee colored sweater. Super, super, super oversized. This could definitely fit at least up to like an XL. This is crazy oversized, which is just like how Ryan's sweaters are. That's why I think that that's the new model. It's also so soft. All right, and then kind of onto like a winter free people. So we really have every season but summer. Free people size medium once again. And this is so cute. So it's like a cowl turtleneck, as you can see. And it has this fair aisle detail to the sleeves and the body. So adorable. It's also really, really soft. The sleeves are kind of like a bell. This is amazing. And I don't really want to be picking up stuff like this right now, but I cannot be skipping stuff like this ever. So... I did pick it up. So nice. I don't think it's wool or like alpaca or anything. It's just like a really soft, or it's 55% wool. So <laughs> there is wool in this, so you might not want to dry it, but it's very, very soft. It is not itchy in any way, shape or form. Okay, now I'm like realizing that I, <laughs> I titled this something about like spring and I haven't really shown too much spring. I mean, we did do the swim. Let's do some more of the spring. And I need to amp up my speed because we're getting a little long here. And I actually have a doctor's appointment after this. So I'm trying to do this and not have to cut it off. So we have a Maeve Anthropology size medium. This is a kind of like ruched tank top with a peplum bottom. Not really like the most substantial style that I would normally want to sell, but with the season that we're going into, I will sell it. Then we have a sanctuary and I pick up sanctuary a lot, but I sell it Never. I can sign it every time I find it. This is a size large. This one I'm going to sell because, I mean, first off, it's really, really pretty. But this is an Evereve top. I like reverse image searched it and it was sold at Evereve. What is going on here? There we go. 
So I am gonna sell it myself. It buttons at the front, puff sleeve, so cute. I'm just like, I mean, if I found that with the Ever Eve label in it, I'd be so excited and I'd sell it myself. So why not sell that one? This is a new brand to me, but Ryan has had it. This is a swim brand, but this is like a swim cover. So it's a puff sleeve top. I tied this a little too loose. Like you get the gist of what the front is supposed to look like. This is a brand called Maji. M-A-A-J-I. Wow, that is neon. I don't even think you can read that. I cannot see it in the camera. This is made in Colombia. It's a size small. I'm size smile. Okay. Um, but it's really pretty. And actually, if you look close, the print is in like a different size on the sleeves and the body. Like it is the same print, but they like zoomed in for the body. Really, really cute. I love that little detail. Then we have a more fall piece. And this is by a brand that I used to consider one of my favorite brands of all time. Definitely don't now, but it's really cute. So it's Heartloom, size large. This is a flannel shirt and it's plaid and it's very fall. And I do still like Heartloom. I just wouldn't pay up as much as I used to. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I have to go so fast because it is 9.45 a.m. right now. And my doctor's appointment is at 10. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, it's at 10.05. <laughs> and it's like right down the street, but I have to go so quick. I'm going to do like five more minutes of stuff and then I got to run. This is a free people size two. I'll just, it's good that I'm doing this one in two parts because I'll just save the rest for part two. This is a pleated, really cute polka dot dress. Like it's totally pleated, almost like Issey Miyake. It is a slip with this lace detail to the bottom. This is so freaking pretty and I'm surprised it's not intimately free people but I'm kind of happy that it's not. Then we have a Gap terry cloth button shirt and this is Gap size small. No you're not watching this in fast motion. This is, <laughs> this is how I'm moving. This was is new with tags. It was originally $60 but these like terry cloth button ups are really in and really trendy. They have been for a couple years. I think this is women's. Yes it definitely is. If it wasn't women's I'd keep it for sure. This is a brand I don't do very often and I actually don't really find it much anymore. This is Frank and Eileen. It doesn't do that good for me. This is called the Fiona Top. It's woven in Italy. Frank and Eileen is really expensive. It's kind of a lag and look brand. Um, I usually don't like it as I've said like nine times now, but this piece is still on their website for full price, $260. And yes, it is supposed to have this distressing at the bottom. So I'm gonna try this. Great for the season being like a chambray tank top or sleeveless top. So we're gonna do it. Okay, we got some Ever Eve pieces. First up is a knit Ever Eve tank top top really adorable as you guys know i'm obsessed with every eve lately this is a size large it's been selling like hotcakes for me and honestly they do make really cute clothes so i can understand why it sells quick this was a really good find especially for me because i stand this brand even though a lot of people don't it is rails it's a size small and this is a slubbed cotton mini dress it's like tiered it's navy blue once again great for the season we're going into and i love rails so that was a great find for me. Then we have an airy piece and I like never pick up airy but I've actually had this one before. So it's a size extra small airy. It's a newer piece probably like 2021 I think it was. It's a sweatshirt that I need to clean <laughs> and the sleeves say cheers. When I had this last time for some reason this was like all over like the airy blogger sites and it did so freaking good when I had it last time. This is a luxury piece that I'm gonna save for next time. It's a new brand to me and it's really weird. There's your little like hee hee come back next time next week. This is a say small Hannah Anderson. Do I need to explain why I picked this up and why I'm gonna sell it myself? Like duh. Duh. And then we're gonna do two more and then I gotta go, which we're almost done anyways. I'm just gonna be saving like four things for next time. This is another Ever Eve, size large. This is a like medallion crochet <laughs> knit dress. This is the cutest Ever Eve I have ever seen. I have ever Eve seen. I'm obsessed. It was one of those things where when I see it in the bin and I picked it up to myself, I went, yes. Like I literally whispered that to myself because I'm weird. Blast is a funky one. Really funky, as you can see. This is a sweater, obviously. This is a brand that Ryan has really good luck with and I usually despise, but this is too weird that I have to try it. This is actually by De Seagal, which you're now probably like, oh, <laughs> that makes sense. This is a size something, size medium. It is a wool blend and it's weird. 
It's like a moto sweater that's like super color block and printed and patterned. And then the back actually has De Seagal stitched in, like spell out. So I'm gonna leave you on that note. I mean, this video was long enough, so that's okay. But like, I should have planned ahead better and started filming earlier in the morning, but I didn't. So I have to go now, I have to go to the doctor and do a little checkup situation. So I will see you guys on Saturday with Ryan for a regular What's What Saturday. And then we will continue this haul next Thursday. Otherwise on Tuesday, I would like to do a consign with me, but I need to make sure that Clothes Mentor is taking spring stuff. I don't know if they are, so I need to call. And if they are, we will. If they're not, we'll figure out something else. But I will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>